if we want to perform agent-based backups, we need to get the agent installed on our target host. So we go Manage Appliances, bring up our list of appliances, right select an appliance and go Configure Appliance. This will open a new tab. On this new tab, go to Agent Management. And then along the top here, you have a choice of four separate backup and DR agents. I'm going to choose the 64-bit Linux agent. Once the agent has downloaded, I will transfer it to my Linux host. Once I've logged into my Linux host, I need to become the root user, find where I put the backup and DR agent, and then run yum against that agent. When the package installation completes, a secret key will be printed onto the screen. You need to copy that key into a notepad because you will need it in the next step. In order to run application discovery, we need to have a host. You can either add the host by onboarding the VMware engine or onboarding the compute engine instance if you have the credentials. If you do not have the credentials, you could also go manage hosts and then go add host to manually add the host. Once you've got the host added, then go manage hosts, find the host, validate that the certificate status is NA, edit the host, and now scroll down to backup and DR agent settings. In this section, find the secret section and paste the secret key that you were given when you installed the backup and DR agent. Then hit save. This process will take a few seconds. If you get a message like this, you know the process has been successful. The other way to validate the process is successful is that the certificate status will switch to valid. If it does not switch to valid, there are three possibilities. The first possibility is you took too long between generating the secret key and adding the secret key, in which case you need to go back to the host and generate a new secret key using the procedures shown in the doc page. The second possibility is that you're missing an ingress firewall rule. In this example here, you can see I've gone to VPC Network's firewall. I've added a new rule called appliance agent ingress. The source is the service account that's attached to my backup and recovery appliance. The target is any host in my network on TCP port 5106. The third possibility is that you're targeting the wrong host or IP, in which case you need to ensure you're targeting the host where you just installed the agent. A suggested piece of prep work is to run the VG display command and validate how much free space you have in your volume groups. If your volume group does not have any free space, then logical volume snapshots will fail because they need some free space in the volume group. One additional prep work task you might consider is to validate that iSCSI is installed on your Linux host. In this case, you can see I've gone cat etc iSCSI initiator name and validated that I indeed have an initiator name. What you could do is copy this initiator name, go manage hosts, find your host, edit it, scroll down to ports, select add port, paste in the IQN and hit add. This will ensure that the correct IQN is used on the first backup. Having ensured that my certificate status is valid, I can now proceed to App Manager, Applications, and select Add Application. I then choose the application type that I wish to discover. In my example, I wish to discover Postgres SQL. I run Discovery against my selected host and hit Discover. Application discovery has begun. The status bell here shows that it has begun and then shows that it was successful. How do I know it was successful? Let's go back to App Manager, Applications, down here on the left, I've set two filters for Postgres, SQL, databases, and instances. And you can see I've discovered my instance and I've discovered my four databases. At this point, I can apply a backup plan to the instance. I do this by selecting the instance, selecting Manage Backup Plan, choose my template, choose my profile, and then select Apply Backup Plan. Note, I could edit the database inclusion rules to determine which databases get included as part of the backups. When I'm happy, I can hit Apply Backup Plan. You will be offered some policy overrides that you can set. Unless you've been instructed to or you're aware that there is an override that needs to be set, simply hit Apply Backup Plan. The backup plan has been applied. At this point, jobs will run automatically according to the schedule set in the backup plan template. If you want to run a backup manually, you can simply open Snapshot and then choose either DB or DB plus log and run the backup now. This is called an on-demand job. In each case, you can monitor on-demand jobs or schedule jobs by going to monitor jobs. In this case, you can see my first backup is running against my Postgres instance. Once that backup is complete, I'll be able to use those backups to perform mounts and restores.